pop in some little tree trunks. So I'm just going to work this work this tree line along here. So it'll just them in the yellow. Right, and then just a little bit of burnt umber. Such of ultramarine. I'm just putting some of that little. You, you can't see much of that muddy bang, but there must be some at there. Just a little bit of mud here and there. Now you can see how the airs, because the brush is getting dry, the airs are coming apart. If you just dip. Dip the tips in the water and see how it brings them all back together again. So that's the sort that's the background in. Um, so if I can, I'm just going to make sure that's dry because I want to put the reflections in. So that looks pretty dry to me. So. Clean brush, clean water, and then just re wet it underneath. Because the paint's dry, it's not going to go anywhere. And then it's a case of just bash those reflections in. They don't have to be exact, as long as they're there or thereabouts, you'll, they'll, look, you'll, they'll look okay. Now there's a, on the right hand side we've got um, a big tree. That's what Start off nice and light. a big big tree trunk at the bottom. Just put a few limbs in. Big one there. Just gives the impression of the something holding it all up together. Obviously, it's a bit, a bit darker down there. Almost the shadows.
And again, the colour's got a bit dark, so I want to... In fact, before I do anything else, I just need some sort of reflection in there, that church tonight, because it just looks as if it's missing. Um, I, I should have done this earlier. In fact, I could have done this when I was putting the church in itself, just done it straight away, but I just want to... I don't want anything too defined, just just to give the impression. That there's something there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, same with these little houses. I only want a, a little, I don't want a hint. Mm, a bit more than that. I just want to hint that there's something there. It doesn't need to be any more than that. Now I've got my clean brush. And back into the light colours. And just a quick sweep. Down into this foreground area. Lemon yellow, ultramarine, just varying it as I go along. Lemon yellow, ultramarine, and there's just a few little tufts of grass there. I'd go flip with a, with a fingernail, not so much. Very easy to overdo it with a fingernail and with a scraping out. So I'm just going to switch to the number three rigger. Um, pick up any colour off the palette really, don't I? Uh, stick a couple of birds. So yeah, I'm going to put my rear on here. That'll do. A bit more dark colour on the brush. And then down there. Just pop your signature. And that's another painting. Finished. If we just take a, another quick look at the buildings over there, you can see how I've just kept them very, very simple. And they don't take up much space in the overall scheme of things, but you can see how that will bring a bit of character to the painting. And you can see the reflections, I mean, whilst not perfect, they just help bring the water to life. 
and also by reflecting some of that sky colour at the same time when you're putting the sky in, that also helps. I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.